The nails were complicated taking care of a baby, for I fed, sure. I fed her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's in my rider. Jude, Jude feeds me wherever I go. <laughs> member of the PMC family. Your mother works at PMC with Variety and everybody. Welcome. They, they, now everyone knows that. That's great. <laughs> Sorry. Did she like Fox Lux? Yes, yeah, she, my, my mother liked it very much. <laughs> what about your aunt? Yeah. <laughs> very, very open to it. <laughs> we'll be sure to tell her. One exciting thing about this film is it brought up a lot of references uh, like Truth or Dare or the Lady Gaga doc. Natalie, did you watch Truth or Dare or the Lady Gaga documentary? I, I did. I did. I watched a lot of um, documentaries about various female pop stars before starting, and it was very helpful to kind of get an idea of what that life is like on the road and the kind of family that comes up and relationships with family members who become kind of involved in the business. It was very helpful. The character Celeste becomes famous at the age of 13. Natalie, that's something you experienced as well at that age. What are the realities a woman has to deal with when they're thrust in the spotlight that early? Well, I think that it is a weird thing to have a public persona and a private persona so young because you're kind of aware of keeping those separate and there's a weird kind of splitting of self when you're like, this is what other people can know about me. This is what is valuable for me to have just for myself. And, and that can be, be strange, but important to keep it separate, which this character doesn't really do. A very large part of this film is a very serious discussion about addiction and fame and also gun control. Uh, Brady, why was it so important to frame this movie around the conversation for gun control? Um, you know, I didn't actually think too, too much about, about the film having anything to say specifically about gun control, um, even though I'm, I'm obviously for it because any sane person is. Um, but I, um, I, I, it was, it, the, the film is a generational portrait and, in America, and uh, to make a generational portrait about America, there's a lot of guns. I mean, th that, that, that's, that's all it is, really. Jude, you play a character that kind of takes Celeste's tragedy and uses it for the power of press, among other things as well. I'm curious, is this character based on anyone you know in real life? No. Um, yes. He was very well formed on the page. And you know, the, 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 the pleasure of working on a film like this is that the themes and the world is suggestive and very potent in its entirety. And so you can really just concentrate on the job at hand and, and, and as an actor, maybe therefore just the detail and then my new shy. And Brady gave me a few references and, and, and other performances and characters uh, uh, in the past, uh, in, in history that to go, maybe go back and look at. But on the whole, I really just took what was on the page and perhaps also a few people I know in, in my own life uh, that he reminded me of. Anyone in particular? <laughs> No one that you'd know. <laughs> um, they know who they are. <laughs> maybe, do you know what? Maybe they don't. <laughs> That's the problem. Probably, it's probably better that they don't. Uh, the final scene has this really magnificent dance routine from you, Natalie. Uh, what was it like choreographing that and getting working on that? Is what's more difficult, learning ballet or learning pop choreography? Well, it was mm -hmm. they're actually very similar experiences because I got to do both um, with my husband as the choreographer, so that was really fun both times. And this was really helpful because we had very little time to prepare, and so to have um, you know my choreographer at home was was. Very Pretty convenient. nice. <laughs> very convenient. <laughs> very helpful. Very kind of him to do for me. That Golden Globes line, the male directors, that was an amazing moment for everywhere. Uh, what inspired you to say that? Where did that come from? Uh, well, actually, a lot of the, the women who I've been working with, I brought it up to them that they had invited me to, to um, present the, the directors. Um, and of course, I felt uncomfortable that no women were, were in that group considering the quality of films directed by women this, that, that year. And I didn't want to be disrespectful to any of the men who all deserved to be honored. They all made great work. But of course, it is a, a, a traditional bias that's been there so I was like what what could I say that would you know and and in the conversation with the other women they they helped me come up with that so it was very much a sisterhood creation very cheeky